Good morning, it's Monday morning, everybody. It's your girl, and today don't pay attention to my shirt. My husband's my best friend, but sometimes I'm gonna spray up. True, but not today. But first, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, AKA Fresh from the Salon, BKA, the People's Champion. And today, we're taking them back to the ladies. So, we have first Miss Eva Mendez. She started in Training Day, Deja Boo, and some other movies. Oh, Hitch, and Hitch with Will Smith. And then we have Jessica Alba that started in Fantastic Four. Um, Honey, and what's the other movie Dark she's been in? Dark Angel, the series. Dark, Dark, Dark Angel, the series. And then her and, and Gabrielle Union has a series out called, I think, um, L.A.'s Finest. So, who are you girls rolling with? Miss Eva Mendez or Jessica Alba? Eva Mendez or Jessica Alba? Drop your pick down below, and don't forget to hit that like button. Peace. Hands, hands. You ain't got no DeAndre Hopkins. I, I mean, De yeah. Anyway, De DeAndre Hopkins. What I'm talking about, DeAndre Hopkins. We talking about DeAndre. I mean, Deontay Wilder, man. Anyway, uh, before we get started, let me just say I appreciate everybody coming through. That shirt is in the store. This shirt is in the store. We got a new. We got the new ripped. Uh, ripped city. That's in the store. Uh, all this stuff gonna be in the store. And we got something something cool for y'all too i'm gonna show y'all this at the end of the video man but uh first of all yes so what's going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ coming to you live with another video hey look man we got a lot to talk about a little bit of time to talk about it in but look though let me show y'all something that's all the craze right now man i say i say let me show you something that's all the craze right now and that is, um, y'all know Baby Yoda is all the craze right now. And in honor of Baby Yoda, hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show y'all this right here. This thing is fire. I had my boy Shaq Arts help me to design something. This is gonna be in the store. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the black one in the store, and then, uh, you know, eventually we'll have them all in the store. But without further ado, or should I say ado, here we go. Boom. Spot your eye well. We got this shirt. It's gonna be in the store by the probably by the time you see this video, it's gonna be in the store, man. And uh yeah, hey, look, man, baby Yoda with the Tims and everything. Why everybody love baby Yoda? What y'all think about that? Is that shirt fine? Uh I'm gonna have it in white, gray, and black. So that's what we're gonna have this joint in, man. That shirt will be in the store. Probably by the time you watch this video, at least the black one, and then we'll have all the other iterations up. But man, let's just get started. Um, let's just get started with everything that we got going today, man. They bro, they even got baby. They didn't even show you showed you the original baby freezer in this thing, boy. But look, man, let's get right into it. The only J, the only J Cut says I can confirm that Ronnie 2K just told me that they are banning people for boosting P the Puma Mania event and doing the VC glitch as as we speak. Y'all better run. Get your head down, run. Now, I don't know about no VC glitch or whatever like that, bro. But uh, if running 2K did not dispute this, then uh, this is probably, probably pretty true. And right here, bro, you just see people just boosting along, man. Like, like people just running away, letting them score, come back, watch, rinse, repeat. Like, it's crazy, bro. Like, people, like, I, I don't understand the whole boosting culture, man. Like, I get it. I get it, like, with the uh, badges and stuff. Maybe you don't want to do your badges and stuff like this. To me, I really don't care if somebody's boosting, okay? If you want to boost and you want to, uh, you want to boost, you want to, you want to get up there and, and get your, get your, uh, I, I don't even know what it does for you. You want to get your rep up and you want to get to, to gym rat as quickly as possible and you wanted to use this guy. Hey, do it, do whatever you want to do. I don't understand the whole boosting fiasco. Just know that they are banning people for it. Like, they're not playing the radio with y'all. Like, the game is already busted as far... Okay. Mechanically, the game is solid. But with all the glitches and all the other things, the game is already busted to all hell anyway. So, with that being the case, they're going to be looking for retribution in a lot of places. And this is going to be one of those places where they're looking for that type of retribution. What they're going to do is, they're going to say, okay, well... We can't fix all the glitches and we can't ban everybody. But you best to believe that if you're glitching and you get caught like this, they're going to ban you. You're gonna be up out of there, man. Like I, I don't I don't even understand why you would take the chance with your account 
to do it. Like I said, you want to rush gym rat badge as fast as possible, fine with me. Do what you got to do, my guy. If you want to rush another badge as quickly as possible, that's cool, man. But this stuff right here, like, like VC glitches and boosting are two things that 2K has never, ever, 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 ever played with people with. I remember back in 2K16 when people, when you could go to your my court and play games against people and that was giving you rep like it was in the park and people was just getting bars and bars and bars off of that. But they came back and banned a lot of people off of that. When people were doing that to cheat the uh, to cheat the boards, the, the leaderboards and stuff like that, they were banning people for that stuff. So, um, hey, it is what it is. Mike Wong was on, was on, Mike Wong was on Twitch looking at people's stream and there was somebody pointing out people that were streaming. He shall not be named. But uh, you know, it is what it is, man. But like I said, some people, it's, it's, it's completely within your right to report people for boosting if you don't, because it is against the terms of service. But in my eyes, we done all done something against the terms of service. So I, I, I just, I guess I just really don't care. I, I, I mean, we done all done stuff against the terms of service. Most of the stuff that doesn't impact other people but I just don't see, like, to me, I don't care about it because I don't see how boosting impacts me. Maybe some of the rep rewards or something like that, but I just don't care if somebody else is boosting. But at the same time, but I guess it's because I don't have a horse in the race. Like, maybe some people are trying to get to that, two, you know, they give, they, give, they give away the 200 games for free and they give away those 200 sneakers. And if you're grinding, 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 and you're actually trying to get there legitimately, then... I can definitely see why you hate on why, why you don't want people be, to be boosting because that reduces your chances to be one of the first legends and get on that wall of fame. Me, I seriously doubt that I will go to legend. So it doesn't impact me, but I can definitely see why it impacts others. So that's why I'm saying like we typically don't don't really care about things that don't impact us personally and the, the boosting does not impact me personally. But if you are one of those people that are grinding and you want to try to get the legend and all that, hey, it, it does impact you personally. So you are going to care. And by all means, report them, get them up out of here. I mean, bro, I just don't understand, like, who is going to come to the park and just throw games over and over for you? Because when we went out there, we got the sweatiest of the sweat this weekend, boy. Like, just regular games, we was getting the sweatiest of the sweat. I don't get it. I don't even know, like, how do you get parks where people are in here like this just throwing these games to you? Do you just keep changing over and over and all that good stuff? I don't know. But like I said, I I, I don't, I never go for top rep, so that's why it, does, it doesn't bother me. But if I did go for top rep, oh, you best to believe it will probably bother me, and I'd be pissed, and I'd be just like everybody else. Anyway, on to our next story, man. Hey, bro, beware of getting scammed. This kid on Reddit says... He says, uh, I kind of got scammed. And what he's saying is, can you game say, can you game share with me, uh, PSN? You know, this is this is the October bands. I'm a 90 overall interior force. I paid someone to game share, but they changed the account info, and now I can't grind anymore. I'm a very active player. Never bought VC, and I will I will run park with you every day if you bought the game or what have you. And then they say, how much you pay to game share? He said like 20 bucks cash. Blah, blah, blah. Listen to me, man. Don't do stuff like this, man. Game share with somebody that you know. I, if I game share, it's going to be with Big Paul, Man Man Grind Hard, Brutal Sim, Brutal Sim on the scene, Wicked that me with a next game share. Look, it's going to be with somebody that I actually know. I, I would not game share with somebody that I didn't know or like, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe maybe you get it from somewhere else. I just couldn't see myself game sharing with somebody that I didn't know, just a random person off the internet. I have no relationship with you or anything because they can use that and backtracking and get uh, access to a lot of your personal information as well. This is dangerous, like game share with people that you know. But at the same time, this could be somebody that's trying to scam somebody. So he comes on Reddit, tells his sob story, says, hey, I'm trying, you know, I was game sharing and then I got scammed. And maybe he's saying that to gain your sympathy to say, well, shoot, if the kid scammed, if he got scammed, he's not gonna scam me. And then all that. And then dude said, bro, well, the game is $30 now. He said, I'm still broke. Hey, bro, but look, we not about to sit here. And then he said, let's say, I believe I can find a way to get an account, to get the account uh, information back the new information, send me a direct message. So they, they're trying to help him out, bro. But but the thing is, you can't get the account information back because it wasn't his account to begin with. He game shared with somebody. He gave somebody 20 bucks. They gave him the username and password. Once he downloaded the game, did all that, they changed the information. Now you screwed. 
you screwed all the way. Mm. Uh. So it's nothing you can really do about that. Like if if you change your password, that person can't game share with you anymore. And that's exactly what happens here. But like I said, you don't want to be the victim of this where you give this person or somebody like that your information and then they change the password on you. And then now you're done. That's why you can only, that's why you can only, obviously you're gonna have the safeguards where you can go back and recover your account and do all of that stuff. But if they change that information, then you might be screwed as well. So like, you see what I'm saying? Like you might have the backup information. You might have two, two factor authentication and all this stuff. But if you don't have the right safeguards in place and you game share with somebody, you, you have compromised your own account. And not only if you game share with somebody, can they change the password on you and then you're screwed because they just scammed you. But if you give your information to someone to game share for that 20 bucks, they can take your account and then you're screwed as well. And uh, you know, that, just be mindful of all this stuff, man. Look. I can't, I can't implore upon you guys enough. You cannot give people your information that you do not trust. If you don't know where they live, you don't know where they at, you don't know how to get in contact with them, all this stuff. And obviously they can just not answer the phone and do all this stuff because people finesse people all the time, but just be mindful of all that. And last but not least, Puma Mania, the greatest event in 2K history. Man, I love Puma Mania. The park is so smooth. That means that, that that bitch, I mean that witch flying overhead. She was out of the park. She left. We should never see her again. Thanksgiving is over with. Doggone, um, Turkey Day is over with. Uh, Halloween is over with. All Hallows Eve is over with. We don't want to see her again. Ronnie, we dump bike. We don't want to see her again. Get her out of here. Get her out of here so we can play on the come up court and we can play on the uh, court beside the come up court again because it's so laggy. But with Puma Mania, it wasn't laggy. It was awesome. The game was great. Everything played well. We lost like two games the whole time in Puma Mania. And there was one of them because I didn't have a point guard and I was playing point guard and you know, I don't have a point guard. And then the other game was, uh, bro, they let a dude hit a step back three from the hash with me in his face and he green that joint. But hey, you gonna lose games, baby. It is what it is, it come with the territory, but we wasn't boosting. And that's another thing. If you guys ban people for boosting 2K, you better be damn sure that you're banning the right people. Because we throw five, six alleys a game and we win like 40, 50 games in a row a lot of times. Now it's not on the same court, granted. We don't go on those super streaks uh, like you can on Xbox because, and if you got bombs lined up to play you over and over that are not even trying hard and you ain't even playing defense and stuff, like, if we could do that, then we could go on stupid ass streaks too, but we can't because we have to, every time we play, they, oh, they, they, we gotta go to the next court, next court, next court, next court. So we win 40, 50 games in a row, but we never get to have the streak there because nobody's gonna play us another time. And obviously y'all know that was nothing to do that in, um, in 2K18, if you watch me anonymous and T Mizzle play 2K18, it was nothing for us to be on a 30 game streak. We didn't even care. We were out there just streaming and having fun. But anyway, like I said, man, if you're gonna ban people, make sure you ban the right people. Get definitive evidence that people are not playing them. Get the day off to go to the park like they did in 2K16 and, and stand around, like when he was giving people rep boost, and come out there in a suit and just stand around. If people know that, that get them to go to low population parks. Just get somebody to do that. It, I mean, but it, that's if you care about it. If you don't care about it and, and you want to show that you don't care, then don't do nothing about it. It is what it is. Uh, like I said, to me, it's not a big deal, but that's because I am not grinding myself. That doesn't mean that somebody else isn't out there that's pissed off to all, to the highest of festivity because somebody else is doing it. You understand what I'm saying? So just because it don't bother me don't mean it's not going to bother somebody else. So it does need to be dealt with. It does need to be addressed but make sure you got the right people because you can't ban the wrong people just because the numbers look like damn they haven't lost in 50 games there's a lot of people in the community better than i am and they win look at poor boy saying he he went damn near a thousand games before he lose lose one or, or what what he, he, he was losing uh two games per hundred because he was losing like 20 games per thousand so that's two games per hundred games so like this one game every 50 games, he was taking one loss every 50 every 50 dubs. So that would look like he's boosting probably. So you can't do that. You can't just do it by arbitrary, arbitrarily do it by the numbers. You have to do it by, we have visual evidence of this person boosting and 
doing it continuously because you can't help that if somebody get on the game, get on the court and throw the game, you can't just be like, well, dang, they boosting because these people throwing the game. You have to see them do it continuously. Keep coming around in empty parks and doing it like that because somebody could get on and they could just say, I just don't like Jay and then get on and run out of bounds and then act like they, and throw the game and then it looks like I'm boosting, but I would never be boosting because I'm streaming. I would just be laughing at it. Anyway, got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. One more time, we got Eva Mendez and Jessica Alba, the Dark Angel. I say Eva Mendez or Jessica Alba, the Dark Angel, man. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think, man. And uh, if you think, if you like the Yoda shirt, man, the spot you, I will. Let me know if you're going to cop that. Um, I'm, we're going to get that and the Rip City in the store today. Uh, the hoodies and all of that stuff, the three shirts will be up there probably a probably at... The three shirts will be up there before 12 p.m. Eastern time, and she should be able to get the hoodies and all of that. Like I said, we're going to go white, black, and gray on this one, and then uh, we're going to do white, black, and gray, gray short sleeve, white, black, and gray, long sleeve, white, black, and, white, black, and gray hoodies. And then uh, with Rip City, we're going to go with red, red, black, and white. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Anyway, got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I already talked too long. Make sure you subscribe. Um... Make sure you subscribe and uh, watch all the videos. Watch that video yesterday on the best offensive badges to help me get these videos up there, man. This channel needs to blow. And if you got a young YouTuber, somebody that's that's not getting that much love, leave them down in the comments, man, because this is December to remember. We're trying to help our smaller YouTubers, man. Let me see. I'm, gonna, I'm about to go to my comments right now. And, and somebody said that they, they were a smaller YouTuber in the comments. We're going to highlight them right now, man. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see right now. Uh, I'm just doing this willy-nilly. I'm just doing this willy-nilly. So I can't vouch for the content. You know what? I don't want to do it willy-nilly because I want to be able to vouch for their content. Let me know down in the comments if you are one. Uh, we'll do it in my video later on today. I can showcase you. And um, just let me know. I saw some people in the video yesterday. So I do want to... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to highlight one of them first. But anyway, got to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, all that good stuff. Watch this video right here. And then YouTube says this is the best video for you right here where Cap's face is. And I'm holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed!